Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your monthly tarot card reading for March 2020. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you want a person reading, you can get it at the TarotEmpress.com. So let's find out what's going on in your life for the month of March 2020. So Virgo, there are some interesting things that are going to be happening in your love life in the month of March 2020. The first two energies that I'm looking at is suggesting to me that there is the possibility of love, right? I feel like a lot of you could be pursuing someone or something in your love life and this person could make you feel a great sense of excitement they could bring a lot of joy into your world this is a powerful energy it could be someone that is approaching you for a relationship or you could be approaching someone for a relationship i am picking up the newness of this energy which is very profound and strong there is this individual that could be coming in your direction and i feel like there's someone that you could uh, you know eventually feel a lot of passion towards there's a very powerful connection here and I do feel like it's worth exploring. I do sense from the energies that uh, you may know this person or they might come out of the blue. There's definitely the possibility of love coming into your life in the month of March 2020 and how you decide to approach that is completely up to you. I feel like you're ready for love, you're ready for a relationship, you're ready for uh, starting something with someone that you care about. So I do feel like the month of March is all about love for the zodiac sign of Virgo. You know, you're very inspired, enthusiastic, wanting to be with a certain person, wanting to move forward and see where the relationship may lead in terms of the energy. So that's something that can really, you know, provide you with a lot of uh, excitement and joy. Now, the next energy that I'm looking at is showing to me that you're going to be very, very deliberate in your actions, in terms of the things that you're doing, the things that you're saying, and the direction that you're taking your life in the month of March 2020. I feel like you're going to be uh, very, very straightforward, right? You're going to be making things happen. And I feel like this energy is telling me that you are going to have this sort of laser focus where if you want something, you're going to go after what you want. You're not going to allow anybody to get in the way of what you're trying to achieve. There's definitely that energy that is playing a role. It's a powerful sort of energy. And I feel like, you know, you're very determined. It could be with regard to this relationship. It could be with regard to a career choice or whatever you're doing in your life. But I feel like there's a determination in your spirit that is very powerful in the month of March. And it could be something that brings you a lot of excitement, a lot of joy, right? Now, let's see. I feel like when it comes to life, you're going to be feeling like... You want to go after what you want. Now, this could be revolving around an element of self-love, but also revolving around a lot of hard work and picking up that sort of energy. I feel like some of you are going through something where you're trying to weigh what you want in your life, right? Maybe you've uh, developed really well in your career and your love life is lacking. Whatever is lacking in your life, I feel like your attention is going to be on that. If love is lacking, you'll be putting more attention. If you need to, uh, you know, uh, do um, more in terms of your career, then you'll focus there. So I feel like what is lacking, you'll recognize, you'll know what's missing in your life in the month of March 2020, and your attention will naturally move to that. So that's a very uh, unique, powerful energy that is indicating to me that um, you're getting very serious about something or someone or some goal that you have in mind and uh, I feel like you're very very confident about this that's the energy I'm picking up here 
there's a very strong confidence you feel it could be the individual you are trying to get into a relationship with they could be uh, a well accomplished or someone that you really want to be with it's also that you have to also look at that sort of energy now the next energy i'm looking at is showing to me that you might find yourself feeling challenged in terms of the regrets that you have the remorse that you have the fact that you have to keep fighting for what you want but you're feeling a sense of sadness you're feeling a sense of emptiness right now you could have some insecurities maybe you suffered a loss maybe you suffered something during the course of your relationship and it made you feel a sense of helplessness it is pointless to think about situations that have evaded you it's pointless to think about situations that are in the past and i feel like with regret and remorse there's only so much you can do with it I feel like you can either fix the situation if the other person will allow you to or if you are, you know, are at a point where you can really do something to fix the situation. But it really takes two people, right? If the aggressor made a mistake, they need to, you know, ask for forgiveness. And if you were the one that uh, did something wrong, then naturally you would have to, you know, try to make things right. But I feel like the energy here for you, it's going to be difficult to overcome a sense of sadness that you've been carrying with you for some time. But I'm sensing that you are strong, you can do it. You don't have to hold on to that remorse or hold on to that sort of pain or whatever it is that has been diminishing your energy, right? What I'm seeing in terms of your life is that there is going to be progress, but also there's going to be the need to celebrate. There's going to be a need for you to really, you know, take that time out to spend it with your friends and family or the people you care about. Take that time out to really enjoy, you know, all the good things you have to be grateful for. There is this energy which is telling you that, yes, things will work out. It will take time, but uh, don't hold yourself back from truly, uh, you know, experiencing the happiness that comes along with hard work and achievement right so that's a very important thing for you to acknowledge in the month of march uh, 2020 i do feel like it's going to be a vibrant sort of energy heading in your direction now i feel like the one thing you should try to steer clear of is things that make you feel limited restricted or take away your power things that don't empower you you know Opportunities that come disguised as a Trojan horse or opportunities that are not truly um, yours, right? I feel like there could be someone or something that comes in and makes you a marvelous offer, but it doesn't feel like it's real. It doesn't feel like it's authentic. It doesn't feel like it's coming from a genuine place. It could be, you know, something that seems too good to be true. I feel like you should try to run away from those kind of offers, especially in your life could be personal, could be uh, your love life. That's something you really have to look at very closely. Ask yourself, you know, can you handle that situation? Do you want to be in that situation? You know, and the other energy that I'm looking at right now is showing to me that um, there is certain things in your life that make you feel very emotionally fulfilled, certain people in your world that make you feel a sense of happiness and joy, certain people that just bring a lot of light and sunshine into your world. I feel like you should... Uh, you know, spend more time with those individuals, really uh, show them the happiness that they want from you, right? I feel like this is a time for you to open up your heart to the people that you truly care about. So if you're married, if you're in a relationship with a person, if there's certain family members that truly make you feel loved and cared for, there's certain things that truly make you feel a sense of happiness, you should embrace that and you should go towards it and you should really uh, enjoy those sort of energies. I'm sensing that, uh, you know, if you're feeling challenged, which I doubt you will, because March 2020, I feel like you're going to have a lot of control. You're going to have a lot of power. You're going to be able to do whatever you want. And uh, things will take time. But I don't feel like you'll really need to go far to get any sort of uh, assistance from anyone because you won't need it in the month of March 2020. I feel like you'll know exactly what you want to do and where you're going, you know, in terms of the direction. Now, finally, what I'm seeing for you to sum up the energies for March 2020 is uh, to be good to people, to be loving, caring, to uh, be considerate, compassionate and kind, very powerful energies, very necessary to move you in the direction of where you want to go. I feel like if you are in a position to help someone or to do something nice for someone, you should definitely consider doing so. It is a good energy, you know, so I feel like uh, in terms of that, 
definitely consider it, right? I do feel like you'll have an opportunity to, um, you know, basically show people what a wonderful person you are. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.